Oh my gosh. So let's talk about self-improvement. Let's talk about the fact that everybody wants to look like an Instagram model. I mean, like be an Instagram (laughs) model. You want to be the next best thing. You want to be that one they scrolling on. They like, well, I gotta follow. It's a lot of stuff <laughs> that I want to change about myself, but to me, everybody looks the same. Everybody know? looks the same. Yeah. Everybody looks the same. There's nothing new yeah. about a big butt. Everybody has them. You can go mm. anywhere and grab your ass. Okay, so <laughs> if you had a chance to get plastic surgery, what doctor would you go to? <sighs> Well, we all know Dr. Miami is so popular right now, um, which is probably why I wouldn't go to him because I feel like it's a sweatshop. But you have all these women going in and out like a revolving door. I need you to take your time with me. Like, <laughs> I need you to work on that. Yes, this like, is the masterpiece. I don't want to just be one of many. So probably not Dr. Miami. I haven't looked into it. I'll be honest. Would you go out of the country to get some work done? Honestly, I'm not opposed to it. I know it's a little bit, um, the laws and the rules are a little bit more lax. I feel like they do a great job out there. My only concern would be my follow-up visits. I would have to find a doctor in the States that could do my follow-up visits. Of course, of course, yeah. Um, They can be more aggressive with lipo out there than they can in the States. Yes, I I need you to take it all. Honey. I don't want you to leave no fat on the side. If you go out the country and get your work done Mm -hmm. and come back, and try to find a, a doctor to follow up with. They will not touch you. They won't. I know. I've oh, heard. really? I've heard. They will not touch you. I had oh. a girlfriend went to DR, and um, she tried to come back and go to a doctor out here, and he was like, no, no, no. Like, he doesn't see, he doesn't I've, heard, I've heard great things about girls going to the DR. I, I have know. a friend that went, and she looks great. Yeah. I'm looking at her like, oh, oh. wow. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I was like, that's the result? Okay. <laughs> Let me check. Back. Yeah. Have you seen Delicious Nose on Instagram? Oh, oh she got her nose done? Yes. I didn't know that. I actually like it too. It, oh. like it, it softens her up a little bit. It softens her up a okay. lot. Okay. So maybe I need to find out more doctor. I'm like, doing okay. it. There's, this, uh, there's this company, it's CG Cosmetics. They're located in Florida. Okay. And so I do plan to um, check them out. Okay. Yeah. And then they also have. Um, like a recovery house. Oh, okay. Take care of you. So okay. it's like one hundred and fifty dollars a day. It's like a, a staying in a hotel. Uh-huh. They'll take yeah. care of your your food, your, your you know your well, like your dressing, and mm-hmm. you know they they give you massages. Oh you know, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, those lymphatic yeah. drainage massages. Yeah. They take you to show. People don't understand how important, important those massages very are. Very important. Yeah. Because you have all of that fluid on you mm-hmm. once you have surgery. And a lot of people think it's swelling and it's like, no, you have to rub that yeah. fluid yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I mean, I've considered you know, enhancing my backside just a tad bit. Just a little too. Just a little too. Just a little too. Just a little so what are you all thinking of doing naturally to enhance yourself and improve upon yourself versus going under the knife? I bought a gym membership to LA Fitness, so okay, yeah, you went on your way. Topic, um, just regularly visiting my esthetician, getting yeah. facials, mm-hmm. going yeah. and getting chemical peels, so that yeah. makeup is an accessory and not a necessity for me. Exactly. For me, skin is in, and so I've been so really exact. taking care of my skin a lot more. I came to the conclusion I want to lose about 43 pounds for the summertime. Awesome. So Get every it. morning I wake up, I'm outside on the track, I'm flipping tires. Okay. You know, oh, you I'm got it. You're well on your way. Saying, hmm, what can I not do to help myself? So, I can't. Mm-hmm. so do you ladies think it's like you're insecure? You just feel like you need to lift yourself up. Why do you think we want plastic surgery today, here today? I think it's unrealistic to say that no one has any insecurities. How right. very Beyonce, these gorgeous, <laughs> beautiful women all have yeah. their own insecurities. I think we all have insecurities um, that we would like to work on and change, right. but I think it's impossible to say, oh, well, I'm not insecure at all. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I yeah, I think, I think it is slight insecurity, but I don't let that 
overtake me. It doesn't send me into a depressive state or right. I don't think that I'm less than. It's just like, oh, this could use a little work. You yeah. Know, that's it. Like, let me get a better angle because I don't like the way my nose is looking. <laughs> right. You know, it's right. that's just that, right? It's not. Pop on a filter. There we go. <laughs>